Hey everybody, Bobby back for the next episode of my playthrough of Limbo. If you caught the last episode, you'll notice that uh, we finally made it through that rising water contraption and finally up to this ledge with this uh, fancy looking light that's endlessly beaming down to the ground, illuminating not much of anything except except our beautiful selves. <laughs> Yet for some reason, uh, we're still a shadow. So anyway, let's just keep going. There's lots of strange man-made looking material around here and I don't know why that could be. We started off in a forest and and now we're in somewhere that's not a forest. So, you know, I don't even know what this lever is. Obviously we're gonna take water from one side and put it to the other side so that we can use this platform in the middle to get across. No big deal, no big deal, and I'm assuming we're probably going to have to do something yet again. And probably do it a little longer next time so that I don't fall off and drown. So I don't fall off and drown, folks. It's never what you want to do. I kind of like that there's a lot of water manipulation here. It's just kind of a neat neat little thing. This game has lots of... oh, the water's kind of evened out there. This game has lots of little timing things and lots of little balancing things, balancing acts. And we're balancing this water right now, so to speak. And, uh... Okay. I'm not sure what we're doing up here. So let's go back down. <laughs> let's just leave it go all the way and see what happens. Ah. Perfect. The old water displacement trick, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna step on a couple more grubs. No achievement unlocked so far from that. Got an achievement for busting eggs, but no grubs. And speaking of grubs, I f have a feeling I'm about to get infested again. And <laughs> I thought the pipe was a layer of ground, but it's quite clear that's not the case. So let's give it another shot. I'm oh, likely getting infested, and yes I am, and off I go. When the grub attaches to your brain for some reason, it just makes you walk in a given direction. And the given direction it wanted me to walk in this time was to the left and to my doom. Can I pull this box? No, I can't. Uh, the only thing I can hope to do, folks, is hold the opposite arrow key long enough to give myself time because sometimes randomly it seems the grub turns around the direction it wants you to go and well I thought we could waste enough time and have that happen but apparently not so what on earth are we supposed to do it's quite clear we are not supposed to try to go backwards because we will only fall to our death but while we're up here then is there anything else we can do? We can step on more grubs. Not the most exciting thing to do. Except I wish this one would fall so that I could step on it. Let's just go for it. Ah. So I'm going to be able to make it to the other side of that box before it got me. But not so much luck, ladies and gentlemen. Not so much luck died a good number of times so far on this one and I'm just really not sure what to what to do quite yet uh, well I obviously don't want to fall down um, hmm so this thing's obviously swinging left and right I wonder if I should go for it when it's swinging all the way to the right right now uh, <laughs> nope Seemingly not so much. Will I buy enough time this time before I fall? Nope. 
Oh, the water physics are kind of neat at the surface there. Alright, folks. Well, it seems like we need a different plan of attack. A different plan of attack, because I'm just doing the same thing over and over. And that's not necessarily the best of ideas. However, it's the only idea I have at the moment. I mean, we really don't seem to have any... anything to work with here. Unless I can, like, trick it. Trick it to do something to... Let's see, now what... Hmm, just not sure. I wonder if I get a running start in the opposite direction. Will that make any difference? If I'm... If I just go crazy as fast as I can and then jump, no. No difference. No difference, folks. So I think let's, uh, it's not coming to me quite yet. So why don't we go backwards and jump back down onto this thing and, uh, uh can we push and pull this at all? No. Nothing really different here. Nothing different at all. Except for not making the jump. It's obviously not what you want to do. But it saved us from running back this way. Because I am still... Now what if I just try to run over there and pull the crate when the grub is swinging from the other direction? Like right now. Whoa, yes! Yes, yes, yes. So that's great, because now I'll just push it all the way over to the side, it'll get stuck, and this grub will just have me walk, walk, walk into nothing that will move until, assumingly, I'll just decide to change directions. Hopefully. And then maybe I can... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to come up. Maybe there's a little cave dweller. Oh, nope, now I'm decided to go this way again. Okay. So maybe I can jump up. Alright, well it certainly doesn't mind if I hang on a ladder. It won't force me to go in one direction or the other with a ladder. Close. Close, close, close. Oh my goodness, I'm... <laughs> oh gosh. So I've broken a pipe, and now I'm just running as fast as I can. The grub is making me go in this direction, so I'm just making the best of it. And... I'm wondering if... Oh, I probably... Dang, I probably shouldn't have came over here. Because I'm thinking I'd probably need something to float up on while this water is rising. Oh, well, at least it started me. In a convenient location. So, actually, that, that piece I just stepped on right there will probably end up sliding over to the left here. I obviously don't want to jump for it because of those spikes. My prediction is that little piece in the bottom right hand corner is going to be floating up. And coming over to the left, I hope. And from there I'll be able to jump on it and... Oh no! Except for the fact that I'm... I'm facing left, like I, the grub is making me, me want to go to the left. So I can't even jump over that way. So I've likely hosed myself. I'm assuming I have to run all the way back to the very beginning. And then turn around, because for some reason once you hit that point you just turn around. 
then I'll be able to jump off while going to the right. And then it'll likely just end up working. Because for some reason, whenever I come over here, the grub just decides, no, don't go that way. So now we're shifted back to the right hand side. Where I will jump up here. And I will jump over to this ladder. And now we will just wait for this floating piece of de degree. Excuse me. Debris. Not degree. To get pushed on up. And I can already see. The little ceiling guys to the right hand side awaiting. Oh shoot. No. Why did I do that? Oh, I have to do this whole stupid thing again. Oh, I got excited because those ceiling dwellers were there waiting for me to take this stupid grub off my head, and I got excited. And I didn't give enough time for that water to raise up, to rise up. No biggie, folks. We know what we need to do. The toughest part is just waiting for it to happen, because once you know what to do, you can accomplish it quite quickly, and now we should have a timer going. How long will this game take to catch up to the intelligent player that's controlling the pieces? Probably been a good 10 seconds by now. Probably 15. 20. It's probably going to be 30 seconds by the time this thing's ready for me to jump on it again. But, what can you do? Alright, let's try now. I hope this will do it. And it will. And help me, guys! Thank you. They took off the stupid grub. But the water's still raising. So, this will give us an opportunity to, oh dear, this will give us an opportunity to hopefully understand what's next. What is next? Is the water still raising is the first question. I guess I can go down the ladder and check. Whoa. No, the water isn't even coming up. In fact, it never was going to. It just always stopped at waist level. Can I drag this with me? I can. Very good. Not sure if I should, but I kind of feel like I should, and I feel like I should push it off the deep end, and uh, maybe this will help. There you go. Bon voyage, crate. Hopefully that was what I was supposed to do with ye. I'm really not sure. What I think I need to do is have a leap of faith. Huh. I didn't think I'd be able to make that. Okay. Now what is this, a house? I mean, look at the back. It looks like there's a billboard on top of a building. And now this looks like a chimney. And this looks like shingles on a house. There's like a gutter. I mean, where, where the heck are we? I climb up the, the water pipe here. <laughs> and I feel like we just went from the middle of the woods to New York City. And New York City... Okay. A hotel? I'm gonna be kidding. Okay, well, we've certainly... You know, when I started in the forest, I really thought it was going to be... I don't know, just a game 
entirely based on somewhere where there's no civilization. And that was not the right thing to do. But it's become quite clear that once we're out of the forest with gigantic spiders, we can quickly enter a mining facility with plenty of... <laughs> with plenty of surrounding suburbia. And okay, well, I've obviously learned that you don't want to touch the, the signs when they have electricity going through them. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> no biggie. Apparently, you just need to time this perfectly. And that is not timing anything perfectly at all. strategy here. So it's going to come on, and I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully it'll be off by the time I get there, and it is. Made it. And the O <laughs> has conveniently broken the T. However, the E doesn't look like it's really ready to, to come off. That is it. Oh, I'm glad that didn't kill me. But now I have what I need, which is a rope, another conveniently placed rope to swing across. And let's pull down the electricity and shut off. Well, it feels like I already... Oh, okay. Well, I have to go back then, apparently. I have to climb back on the E of the hotel. I wonder what's the name of the hotel. I'm a stickler for gigantic buildings. Gigantic hotels. I hope that we get to explore one. So far, we're only on the rooftop. It's a pretty neat rooftop. I'll give it that. Excuse me. And we are traversing. The L is... <laughs> you know, something tells me I didn't really want to go down, because... That just meant that the hotel was down, as in this is the hotel. Not that I should have fallen to my death there. And there's an interesting chimney. And leap of faith. Didn't know what was going to happen. Obviously we are on some kind of glass roof that I'm hoping does not break. Though it really does look like it wants to. Alright, I'm tempting fate now, ladies and gentlemen. And here we have an interesting looking ladder cart. For some reason there's a ladder on a cart. And I have just the thing. I think. I thought I did. I thought I knew what to do. I want to get all the way over here and then jump through the glass! Oh god! Oh. Well, apparently I have to work on my landing a little bit. Apparently there was a ledge that was worth, <laughs> worth trying to get to. Stick the landing a little better this time. Hopefully, this is enough momentum. It is. And I've made it. On to more lights. Hopefully, this one won't electrocute me. And look at that. That looks like a fire hose. Huh. A fire hose to gently guide me down to the ground. At least, I hope. Oh dear. Okay, good. So did a fire come through here? Oh. oh. Jeez, I mean, just about everything's out to get you here. 
minding my own business trying to check out the scenery and something like that happens. Maybe I need to get out of the way here. Now we have two buckets. Two buckets. And here's where that arrow fell, apparently. Looks like there's ropes and stuff, but... I'm not sure what the point of that is quite yet, if anything. I'm actually wondering if these buckets have anything to do with anything. Apparently not. I tried the action button, but nothing was happening. So, to my perhaps dismay, here we go again with the grub. That I likely have no choice but to just... Let take over my brain. May as well hurry this process up. At least I've already taken down this thing that would have fallen on me otherwise. Oh, and now he says, no, don't go that way. So, we're coming back this way now. I guess the whole point of having me go to the left first is if I hadn't have already knocked that structure down, it would have killed me. Everything's out to kill you in this game, folks. I haven't met a friend yet except for maybe that frog, dog, hamster guy. He seems pretty cool. Alright, decision time. This grub is gonna... Oh, that doesn't look very friendly, does it? Please don't kill me. Okay, good. But I still haven't been able to turn around yet or do anything different. I need one of those ceiling guys to alleviate my symptom here. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff that I walked past already. I hope I can get back to it. Didn't even really get a chance to look at it. Please get in the way. Uh. You know, that was a lot of running. Just to get lit up. Alright, so obviously, jump over it, I guess. Is this gonna start up anyway? Apparently so. Oh, just took my legs off. And look, there's the... My buddies, the ceiling dwellers. are just waiting on the other side. Just waiting on the other side to help, help, help a guy like me out. So, alright, I'm trying to slow down my progress, because hopefully I will step on top of here and jump! Not that time. I believe I have to time it just so that I can get on the box and then jump over the saw with enough time for me to then rush to the other side, climb up, and have my ceiling dwelling friends take care of this little problem I have. This little problem. It's quite clear, folks, that I need to work on my timing. I need to work on my timing a bit. We'll get there. We'll get there, indeed we will. Just when I think it's too... too late to try... Yes! Got it. Come on, cave dwellers. Ceiling dwellers. No! Oh, I thought they weren't gonna help. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I believe this video has gone on for probably the allotted time, so I thank you all for joining me. I, I'm, I'm scratching my head. Like I said, I, I thought we were going to start off in this mystical forest land, and so far all we've done was get further and further away from that. Now we're jumping over buzz saws and climbing on hotels and dealing with electricity. I mean, I wonder where this is going to go. I'm, I'm intrigued. I can't say I know for sure what's going to happen next, so I guess you'll just have to tune in next time and find out along with me. So thanks again for watching. If you stuck around this long, we'll see you next time.